Chelsea's Enzo Maresca weighs up Man United task with honest verdict on Ruud van Nistelrooy. Enzo Maresca fears Manchester United could possess the new manager bounce as he aims to end Chelsea's Premier League winless streak at Old Trafford against his former teammate Ruud van Nistelrooy. Enzo Maresca fears Chelsea's Old Trafford hoodoo will be harder to break with his old pal Ruud van Nistelrooy in charge at Manchester United. The Italian and the Dutchman have been friends since playing a season together for Spanish side Malaga in 2011-12 and the Blues' Premier League winless streak at the Reds dates back almost as far to the last time Manchester United won the title. Juan Mata scored the Chelsea winner at Old Trafford in May 2013 against the already crowned champions in Sir Alex Ferguson's penultimate home game. Rafa Benitez was the Chelsea boss that day before the second coming of Jose Mourinho. Now Chelsea travel north in a period of relative stability while United are going through their own latest managerial upheaval after the sacking of Eric Ten Hag. Van Nistelrooy is taking temporary charge before the appointment of Ruben Amarim. But Maresca warned, For sure it will be a tougher game. When you change managers, always for the first one, two, three games, you can see the reaction from the players. So probably it will be. But in any case, it will be a tough game. The former Leicester City boss has watched his former side lose 5-2 to Van Nistelrooy's side in midweek and claimed, Overall, they tried to do the same thing because it's quite difficult to change in such a short period. I saw that they changed small things. But overall against Leicester, they were more or less in the way they were. Now he will reunite with his former teammate who is four years his senior. First of all, a fantastic guy, very humble and professional, Maresca said. He jokingly added, Unfortunately, I shared with him a time where he was already finished, but even with that, you can see how good he was. We had a very good group of human beings with Malaga at the time, so it is always nice to remember that moment. I haven't spoken with Rude. I will give him a big hug on Sunday before the game. We expect a tough game. The former Juventus midfielder was blissfully unaware of his club's poor Old Trafford record until his pre-match press conference. We didn't win there since 2013, he asked. Hopefully it is a good time. That shows how difficult that stadium is. Not only for us, but for every club. Old Trafford is one of the stadiums in the world that is nice in terms of intimidation. Like Anfield, it's the same. Or in Italy, the San Siro years ago. Or in Spain, Barcelona and Madrid. They are stadiums that are nice for intimidating. Chelsea played well in an entertaining game at Anfield last month, but still lost to show they are not yet title contenders. His cup side also lost at Newcastle in midweek. Maresca acknowledged his young side had to learn to win at such venues, but added, We played a few weeks ago at Anfield and the performance was there, and I don't think the players feel that kind of intimidation, so hopefully it can be the same on Sunday. As Enzo Maresca stood in front of the Chelsea team's training pitch, the weight of the upcoming match against Manchester United loomed large. The echoes of past glories at Old Trafford filled his mind where he had spent countless hours as a player, sharing the locker room with legends like Ruud van Nistelrooy. Now facing off against his old friend, turned rival in management, Maresca felt the pressure mounting. Chelsea had struggled this season, and their winless streak in the Premier League was a constant reminder of the uphill battle ahead. Maresca knew that Manchester United often thrived on the new manager bounce, a phenomenon where teams experience a surge of performance following a change in leadership. This time, however, the bounce came with a twist. Van Nistelrooy had revitalized the team with his passion and tactical acumen, and they were eager to prove themselves. As he reviewed footage of United's recent matches, Maresca noted the fluidity in their attacking play, led by the youthful exuberance of their forwards. He remembered the days when he and Rude would strategize together, dissecting opponents with sharp insight. But this was different. 
This time, it was about survival. In his pre-match press conference, Maresca acknowledged the challenge ahead, sharing his respect for Van Nistelrooy while emphasizing his determination to turn Chelsea's fortunes around. Rude is doing a fantastic job, he said, his voice steady, but we're focused on ourselves. We know we need to find a way to win, regardless of who stands on the opposite sideline. As match day approached, Chelsea fans filled the stands with a mix of hope and anxiety. Maresca organized a team meeting, reminding his players of their capabilities. Ineos believe Ruben Amarim appointment is critical for their Manchester United evolution. Manchester United's owners feel Amarim's appointment aligns with their vision for the club and will prove to be transformative. Manchester United finally confirmed one of the worst-kept secrets in football on Friday. Ruben Amarim will become the club's new manager. After Eric Ten Hag was sacked on Monday, United moved quickly to appoint his successor, sending a delegation to Lisbon on Monday for face-to-face -face negotiations with Sporting CP over Amarim. Given it is the middle of the season, Sporting were keen to keep Amarim to the terms of his notice period, but United managed to negotiate an early release, which will see the 39-year-old take the reins at Old Trafford on November 11th. It means he will take charge of Sporting's next three matches before joining United in the November international break, where he will get to work towards implementing the next stage of Ineos's plan at United. Since they assumed co-ownership of the club in February, Ineos have set about restructuring United's operations both on and off the pitch. The appointments of Dan Ashworth as sporting director and Jason Wilcox as technical director were major steps towards realizing their vision of United re-establishing themselves as a major force in English and European football. Sir Jim Ratcliffe has spoken about wanting to create a different culture at United. Speaking earlier this year, Ratcliffe said, One of our challenges is to make sure the environment at Manchester United is a good environment for people to be supportive, but you're in elite sport, so it needs to be driven, it needs to be challenging, it needs to be competitive, but equally, it needs to be supportive. After a disastrous start to the season, Ten Hag was inevitably given his marching orders on Monday. He was never Ineos's man, and his contract extension at the end of last season after a mediocre campaign always felt like a temporary fix before the new owners found the manager they felt would take the club to the next level. In Amarim, they believe they have found just that. United approached no other manager during this process and made Amarim, who has been heavily linked with the Manchester City job and was linked with roles at Liverpool and West Ham United in the summer, their number one target. After twice breaking the Porto and Benfica stranglehold on the Portuguese Primera Liga title during his four years at Sporting CP, United feel they have employed a proven winner, who they have described as the most exciting young coach in Europe. They also feel Amarim's proven development of young talent at sporting, as well as his style of play, is a big attraction. And, crucially, United's Chiefs feel believe his character will fit well within their structure. It will be a different approach to Ten Hag's, with Amarim favoring a 3-4-3 formation, which will involve a shake-up in United's philosophy. But decision-makers at the club feel this is critical if they want to transform their fortunes on the pitch and they believe his appointment is the next step in the evolution of their football operations. It is expected Amarim will bring his backroom staff with him from sporting, and the initial challenge will be to revive United's fortunes in the Premier League and Europa League. United are without a win in Europe this season, and are 14th in the league, but are in the Carabao Cup quarterfinals, which hand Amarim an immediate opportunity to win a trophy. But while the short-term aims are clear, Ineos are confident this appointment will help United grow long-term to achieve their goals. Their first managerial appointment will naturally come with a lot of scrutiny. But there is confidence within Old Trafford that they have got that decision right. Ineos, the owners of Manchester United, believe that the appointment of Ruben Amarim as manager is critical for the club's evolution and future success. In a statement released shortly after the announcement, the ownership group emphasized that Amarim's vision and approach aligned perfectly with their ambitious plans for Manchester United. 
Ruben represents a fresh perspective and innovative thinking that we believe will be transformative for the club, the statement read. His track record of developing young talent and implementing a dynamic style of play resonates with our goals of building a team that not only competes at the highest level, but also excites our fans. The owners have long been vocal about their desire to return Manchester United to its former glory, emphasizing the importance of both success on the pitch and a strong connection with the fan base. They see Amorim's appointment as a key step in this direction, believing his ability to connect with players and foster a positive team culture will help instill the values and identity that define Manchester United. Manchester United wonderkid Cheeto Obi Martin has hit the ground running after sensational transfer. Cheeto Obi Martin recently made his debut for Manchester United and he made an outstanding first impression in that game. Manchester United have dominated headlines this week following Eric Ten Hag's departure. Ten Hag was sacked on Monday following the 2-1 defeat to West Ham in the Premier League, and United have acted swiftly to appoint Ruben Amorim from Sporting Lisbon. Although Amorim is not expected to take charge of his first United game until facing Ipswich Town on November 24th, his appointment is now imminent, and the story is everywhere. With that in mind, it wouldn't be a surprise if you missed Chido Obi Martin starting for the under-21s on Wednesday night on the back of scoring a hat-trick on his academy debut. Obi Martin's highly anticipated move to United was officially signed off at the end of September, despite a deal being agreed to sign the prolific youth striker from Arsenal in July. United were forced to wait for Premier League approval until Obi Martin could officially be considered their player, and he trained without a club during that process, so sources confirmed he wouldn't be thrown straight into action due to missing a chunk of time out of the game. Obi Martin had to wait a month to make his debut, but it was worth the wait, as he scored three goals in the first 15 minutes of his debut for the under-18s last Saturday. The youngster once scored 10 goals for his former club Arsenal in a single game against Liverpool, and his goal-scoring prowess was evident just minutes into his United debut. Obi Martin's finishing in that game was exceptional, and his Instagram post with photos of him celebrating amassed a staggering 129,000 likes and 18,000 comments. The prominence of social media makes it a different world for emerging talents in 2024, and coaches will be challenged with keeping Obi Martin focused on what truly matters. But he has made a stunning start to his time at the club, and the best is yet to come. Obi Martin made his first appearance for the U21s. As United's first team played Leicester City in midweek, and although he only played 45 minutes, it represented another important step for him. The 16-year-old will initially spend his time between the U18s and U21s, and United considered his arrival from Arsenal a significant coup because they believe he has first-team potential. United are always on the lookout to add the best emerging talent to their academy and completing a deal for Obi Martin, who is regarded as one of the most exciting young talents in Europe, was a further signal of the club's intent to continue to be best in class in youth football. It's also understood United's head of the academy Nick Cox and the head of academy recruitment Luke Fedorenko were responsible for the deal to sign Obi Martin. Obi Martin isn't an ordinary teenager and could have an extraordinary future. Manchester United's latest wonder kid, Cheeto Obi Martin, has taken the football world by storm after his sensational transfer to the club. Hailing from a background of promise and talent, Obi Martin recently made his debut for Manchester United, and he wasted no time in making a lasting impression. From the moment he stepped onto the pitch, it was clear that Obi Martin was a player destined for greatness. His agility, skill, and confidence shone through as he navigated through the opposition's defense, leaving seasoned players struggling to keep up. Fans had eagerly awaited this debut, and they were not disappointed. In the opening minutes of the match, Obi Martin showcased his creativity, weaving through defenders with an array of dazzling footwork. His first touch was impeccable, and it didn't take long for him to become a focal point of the team's attacking play. 
With every touch of the ball, the excitement in the stadium grew as fans began to chant his name. The highlight of his debut came in the 30th minute when he received the ball on the edge of the box. With a quick glance at the goal, he unleashed a powerful shot that curled beautifully into the top corner, leaving the goalkeeper with no chance. The roar from the crowd was deafening. It was a goal that not only showcased his striking ability, but also signaled the arrival of a new star. After the match, the media were buzzing with praise for the young talent. Analysts lauded his vision on the field, noting how he consistently found space and created opportunities for his teammates. His performance was a blend of maturity and flair, rare for someone so new to the professional stage. Coach Ruben Amorim was equally impressed. Cheeto showed incredible promise tonight. His confidence and skill are exactly what we need in this team, he said in the post-match interview. He has a bright future ahead of him, and we're excited to help him develop further. The impact of Obi Martin's debut extended beyond just his performance on the pitch. Jose Mourinho believes Manchester United are getting the best coach in Portugal in Ruben Amarim. Ruben Amarim has agreed to take over as the next permanent manager of Manchester United six and a half years on from visiting Jose Mourinho at the club. Jose Mourinho believes Manchester United will be hiring the best manager in Portugal in Ruben Amarim. The Manchester Evening News revealed on Monday, sporting coach Amarim has agreed in principle to take over at United, who have agreed to pay his release clause at Sporting. United are now negotiating a separate fee for Amarim's backroom staff. Amarim, 39, visited United's Carrington training complex when Mourinho was their manager in April 2018 for an internship, and the Fenerbahce coach remembers a good kid. Amarim had started a postgraduate degree at the University of Lisbon, and Mourinho was a coordinator and lecturer on its high-performance coaching course. Sporting our top of the Primera Liga with nine wins from nine, scoring 30 goals. Mourinho believes Amarim will not be as gung-ho as his favored 3-4-3 formation suggests as he switches to a 5-4-1 shape out of possession with a low block. Mourinho insists Amarim never changes his approach regardless of the opposition, and his tactics provide depth for the wingers and the striker. He described his style as always intense. Amorim is set to become United's second Portuguese coach after Mourinho, who remains their best manager of the post-Sir Alex Ferguson era. Mourinho guided United to League Cup and Europa League triumphs, their joint highest Premier League finish of second, as well as their highest points haul and an FA Cup final. He also has the highest win percentage. I wish the best to Man United since the moment I left. Mourinho said ahead of Fenerbahce's 1-1 Europa League draw with United last week. I left with a good feeling to the club, with a good feeling to the fans, and I want the best for them. So if things are not going amazingly well for them, it's not something that makes me happy. But at the same time, I have no time, and it doesn't make sense for me to be thinking about what happened, what didn't happen. What happened for sure, because it's very objective, is that they keep faith in the coach, Eric Ten Hag. They support the coach. The coach is staying season after season, and that means stability. It means trust, and they are giving him conditions to keep developing his job. That was a difference in relation to me. Because as you know, we won Europa League. We finished second in the Premier League. I think we still have a chance to win that league because if they punish Man City with points, maybe we win that league, and then they have to pay me the bonus and give me the medal. Interim United manager Ruud van Nistelrooy will attend their pre-match press conference today for the Premier League visit of Chelsea on Sunday. Amarim will also address the press ahead of Sporting's league fixture against Estrela Amadora on Friday. Sporting play United's neighbors Manchester City on Tuesday in their fourth Champions League match. The excitement surrounding Manchester United's latest managerial appointment reached a fever pitch as news broke that Ruben Amarim would be taking the reins at Old Trafford. The young Portuguese coach had become a rising star in football and his arrival was met with widespread optimism, including a ringing endorsement from none other than Jose Mourinho. 
Mourinho, the legendary former manager of United, expressed his belief that Amarim was precisely what the club needed. Manchester United are getting the best coach in Portugal, he declared, citing Amorim's impressive track record at Sporting CP, where he transformed the squad into title contenders and instilled a dynamic playing style that resonated with fans. Mourinho's faith in Amarim was rooted not only in his tactical acumen, but also in his ability to nurture young talent, a trait that had become increasingly important for clubs aiming to build for the future. For Amarim, the appointment marked a significant moment in his career. It was a surreal return to the club, especially considering that just six and a half years earlier, he had visited Old Trafford to seek advice from Mourinho himself. During that visit, Amarim was still establishing himself in the coaching world, and Mourinho had shared invaluable insights that shaped his approach to management. Now he found himself in the iconic technical area, ready to lead one of the most storied clubs in football history. As he prepared for his first press conference, Amarim reflected on his journey. He understood the magnitude of the challenge ahead, taking the helm of a club steeped in tradition and expectations. His vision was clear, to implement a style of play that was not only effective, but also entertaining, reuniting the fans with the passion and pride they associated with Manchester United.